Okay, so good morning, everyone. Welcome to this hour of mindful flow. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of a focus on, I guess the best way to describe it is changing our perspective in our yoga practice. Because sometimes I feel as though, you know, on a personal level, I get quite caught up in, um, you know, hitting a pose, getting into it the same way that I always do, and then feeling exactly the same thing. But today I want us to kind of think about how we can um, make a posture feel a little bit different, just to make it feel a little bit more exciting. Um, and also thinking about that as we transition as well. So from your reclined position, just get yourself comfy, allow your eyes to gently close. And you can either have the arms down by side body, or you might even want to have a hand on your heart space and a hand on your belly. Just do whatever feels natural and intuitive for you this morning. And once you've arrived there in that position, just allow your eyes to gently close if you haven't done so already. Allow your breath to be completely natural. And begin to invite a sense of softness and surrender into the body. Have a sense that each time you exhale, you're just letting go a little bit more. You're feeling the body drop down onto the mat a little further. as your muscles release. Just begin to unclench your jaw. And allow your shoulders to be heavy away from your ears. I'm just starting to take our scan through scanning through the physical body but this morning rather than looking for those spaces in the body where you might find tightness or tension i'd like you to search for a space in your body that feels open that feels spacious or supple something that feels good and tune into that space notice what it means to feel good There might be a sense of ease. There might be a sense of relaxation, of calmness. What is it about that particular space in the body that feels good? And I'd like you to imagine as you inhale, that you're sending a cleansing white light down into that space, into that spot. And as you breathe out, you're allowing that light to move further across your body into other spaces that perhaps aren't feeling quite so good, quite so supple or open. Particularly if you're working with injury or anything like that, might be the case that that intention isn't exactly going to completely cut it for today, but I just want you to set that intention. So inhale, you're breathing into that space of goodness. And as you exhale, you're allowing that same feeling to spread throughout your body. Maybe even taking it a step deeper and feeling that goodness sink into your mind. And begin to allow your breath to deepen as you work with this visualization. So your inhales are deep and they flood through your belly and across your rib cage. And your exhales are complete. There's a sense of drawing belly button back to spine. That sense that you want to exhale as long as you can so that you can spread that goodness as far and wide as you can.
And if you're used to working with Ujjayi breath, maybe you're taking a restriction to the back of your throat as you breathe so you can hear the breath a little louder. And if you're not sure, you just part the lips. And imagine that you're fogging up a mirror with your exhale. So it's a bit of a... And then you keep that restriction. So the inhale sounds like... And then closing the lips, see if you can keep that restriction and just hear your breath flowing. Don't worry if you can't keep it up throughout the whole practice, it really doesn't matter. But again, it's just working with that intention, intention of breathing as deeply as you can, intention of having your ujjayi breath and an intention of spreading a sense of goodness throughout your body and throughout your mind. And if you want to work with an intention today, other than that, then please feel free to draw something that resonates with you into your heart space now. But see if you can put that positive spin on it. So if it's something that you want to achieve, rather than saying to yourself, my intention is that today I do the washing up. Maybe say something along the lines of, I already feel great because I've done the washing up. Almost like feel as though you've already accomplished whatever it is that your intention is. Or if it's a person, if it's somebody who's sick or that you care about, then think of the best case scenario for them and imagine that it's actually already happened. Really well done. Okay, let's start to just bring a little bit of movement in from here. So just begin by making some movement in your hands and your feet. And then when you're ready, a nice full body stretch. So the arms lengthen up and overhead, the legs stretch away. Maybe you take a little bit of a wiggle from left to right, just to open up through the side body a little bit more. And then as you breathe out, gently hug both of your knees into your chest. And we'll just take a couple of little rocks and rolls this morning. So unless you've got any issues with your back, you know, rock and roll up and down the spine, maybe three or four times, and then come all the way up into a seated position when you're ready. So I'd like you to take the opposite shin in front to whichever one just kind of naturally came to the forefront. So again, we're just working with a different perspective here, a different feeling. Take a moment to root down through sit bones, lengthen up nice and tall. Keep the left fingertips on the mat alongside you. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, let's just come into a gentle neck release, right ear traveling toward right shoulder. Close the eyes again if that feels good for you and just start to explore. Notice how it feels to open up left side neck. And if it feels good for you, maybe you're turning the chin down toward the right shoulder. Maybe you're taking a little circle with the chin. Just see if you can find a spot, a place in the side neck that feels really tight and tense. And again, have that sense of spreading goodness into that space. So just pausing there, breathing deeply, that visualization, that white light spreading into that space. Good, continue to unclench your jaw. And then on your next inhale, flicker the eyes open, right hand comes onto the side of your head, gently support your head back up onto the central line. And we'll come straight into the second side. So the right fingertips come down to the floor alongside you, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, just let the left ear travel to left shoulder. So give yourself a moment, a moment or two, just to settle, to notice, to acknowledge the space that you're opening up into? Is it tight? Is it open? 
and then when you're really starting to make those little movements so beginning by turning your chin down to left shoulder perhaps and then slowly slowly so that you can really observe what's going on find a space that you need to spread a little bit of that goodness into a little bit of that light into and just pause there and if you always go to the same spot whenever you come into neck release, try and choose something that's slightly different to what you normally do. Two more really big, big breaths into that space. Well done. Gently bring your left hand onto the side of your head and gently just support the head back up onto the center line. Well done. From here, let's make our way onto hands and knees, coming into a tabletop position. And we'll just start to flow with our breath, finding our way through some cat cows. So make sure hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips, maybe tuck under the toes for an extra little stretch for the soles of your feet. And just start to flow. So as you inhale, you're dropping the belly down. You're looking forwards and lifting up through the tailbone. And as you exhale, you're pressing the mat away with the palms, arching through the back of your body, just letting your head hang toward the floor. So nice big inhales. Drop the belly, lift the gaze, stick the bottom out slightly. Exhale, round through the spine press the mat away strongly so you're arching up between shoulder blades and keep that going so just flowing at your pace of breath and if you get muddled between you're supposed to be inhaling or exhaling it really doesn't matter just try and keep that intention of flowing in time with your natural breath And then just let your body take you where it needs to. So if you want to freestyle the movement a little bit, see how it feels to rock the weight backwards or forwards, to make some circles through the torso. Maybe you're kind of coming all the way back towards a child's pose and then snaking the body all the way forwards. Just close the eyes, try and stay connected with your deep breath and just work it out. Again, see what feels good rather than looking for the spaces in the body that are really tight and focusing on those. Focus on what feels good in your body today, what feels nice. Let's take two more rounds of breath here. And then inhale to come back to your neutral spine midway between cat and cow and just pausing here. So let's do a little thread the needle this morning to open up our shoulders. When you're ready, big inhale, stretch your right arm to sky and open up through your chest. And then as you exhale, thread the right arm between the left hand and knee so that you can bring your right ear, right side of head all the way down to the floor. Now take a deep inhale and gently press the palm of your left hand into the mat and notice how that gently opens up the right shoulder a little bit more. Unclench your jaw here. Now if this variation feels really lovely in your body then you can stay here. If you do want an extra bit of a challenge you could wrap the left hands behind the back holding your waistband or reaching for the top of your right hip. Maybe even stretching your left leg out behind curling under the toe so your back leg looks a little bit like a high plank back leg. Maybe you're even floating your left foot away from the floor a few inches. But again search for the variation that feels best for you. Maybe it's not always the option that you usually take. Unclench your jaw, big breaths in, deep exhales. Remember we're getting into the right shoulder. So can you feel that release there? Good, if you lifted the back knee, drop it down. Taking the left hand back to the floor if it's wrapped and then pressing through that left palm to stretch your right arm high. Open up through your chest. Exhale, allow right hand to travel down to the mat, straight to second side, breathe in, open up through the left arm, exhale, thread it all the way through. 
bring the left cheek, left ear down to the mat, gently pressing the palm of your right hand into the floor and notice how that deepens the stretch for left shoulder. So nice big expansive breaths into that left shoulder. Can you find a really gorgeous release here? And again, if you came deeper on the first side and you want to play and explore a different variation, right hand can come behind you to hold onto your waistband or to reach for the top of your left hip. Maybe you're stretching your right leg out behind, tucking under the toes. Maybe you're even floating that right foot away from the floor. Good. Breathing as deeply as you can here. Remember the breath is the most important part of our practice. Two more. Good, if back leg is lifted, gently lower the right knee to the ground, unwrap the right arm, press through the palm to stretch your left arm high, look up, and then big breath out to lower left hand down to the mat, well done. Okay, from here, let's start to take it into our first downward facing dog. So just curling under the toes, have that sense that the belly is drawing in. And then when you're ready, pressing the chest back toward the thighs and just taking a few moments here to pedal out through the feet to give your hamstrings, your calves an opportunity to begin to open up a little bit more. Maybe you're swaying your head left to right, just to really soften through the neck and let the crown of the head hang down even heavier. When you're ready, once you feel as though you've opened up into the backs of the legs enough, reach both heels in the direction of the floor. It really doesn't matter if the heels aren't touching. And if having legs straight means that you're really rounding through the upper back, then bend the knees and just focus on getting your chest through towards your thighs as much as you can. Again, flowing in time with our breath. As you inhale, ripple yourself forwards to find a high plank position with your shoulders stacking over the top of your wrists. And then on your exhale, you're going to bend the knees, keep them hovering away from the floor. Press the chest through the arms back towards the thighs, finding your way back into down dog. Two more times like that. So inhale, rise up onto the toes. Imagine your body's like a wave rippling forwards. And then on your exhale, you're softening into the knees, you're pressing the chest all the way through the arms towards the thighs, lengthening through the heels. Good, last time, inhale, ripple forwards. Exhale, soften knees, press the chest back toward the thighs, downward facing dog, really, really nice. Now on your next inhalation, stretch your right leg up toward the ceiling and bend the right knee to open up through the hip. Think about your right heel moving toward left butt, keeping shoulders square to the mat. Another big inhale. Now exhale, draw right uh, knee towards right elbow. See if you can give it a little tap, really squeezing tummy button in. Breathing in, stretch your right leg high again. Exhale, right knee to nose, round forwards again. See if you can give your nose a little tap, a bit harder that one. Inhale, stretch your right leg high. Exhale, right knee to left elbow this time. So we cross over the body. And I'd like you to come into fallen triangles. You're going to extend the right leg, ground the back heel down to the floor and reach up through the left arm, moving your gaze up towards your left thumb open the chest exhale spiral left hand down to the floor come onto the ball of your back foot and this time step your right foot to the outer edge of right hand give it a little helping hand if needed easy twisting lunge left hand stays grounded right arm reaches to the sky look up good pausing there for a moment so really reaching through the left heel open up through top arm and play around with the gaze, maybe looking up, looking down. Again, choose what feels good in your body this morning. Another big breath in. Exhale, lower the right hand to the inner edge of the right foot. Ground the back heel down to the floor, coming into side angle here. So the left arm sweeps up alongside the ear. You can either keep right fingertips on the floor. If that feels a bit too much for your hip this morning, bring the right forearm onto the right thigh. Have a sense that you're opening up through the chest, maybe gazing underneath your left armpit. Now see if you can feel that gorgeous stretch through the left side of your body. Good, another big inhale. Exhale, spiral the hands all the way down to the floor, either side of front foot. Gently lower the back knee down to the mat. 
untuck the toes. So you're going to take your toes to point towards the long edge of the mat on the left side. So making it like a little kickstand with your bicycle. Right leg comes out, finding our way into a side plank variation. Lift the right arm up toward the ceiling. Really stretch up through right fingertips. Option to lift your right heel away from the floor. Perhaps you're bending the right knee to take hold of the top of the foot here if you can. Big inhale. Exhale, press foot into hand if you have it. Send your chest, your belly forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and together. Good, another big, big inhale. And then if you have the bind, gently release. Stretch out through the leg. Spiral the top hand down to the floor. And then tuck under the toe, step back into high plank. Moving through a vinyasa from here. So as you breathe out, dropping both knees down to the floor. Have the elbows brushing against the side waist as you lower down and then inhale to cobra pose. So lifting up through the heart space, sliding the shoulders back and together. Make sure you keep that bend in the elbows. Exhale, lower your heart space to floor. Tuck toes, find your way back into downward facing dog. Deep breath in, big expansive exhale, let it go. Inhale, left leg reaches to sky this time. Bend your knee to open up through the hip, just pausing there for a moment. Can you send your left heel toward right butt? Can you keep both shoulders square to the mat? Inhale deeply, exhale, left knee, left elbow, draw forward. See if you can give it a little bit of a tap here. Good, breathe in, stretch your left leg to sky. Breathe out, left knee to nose, draw forward. See if you can eventually give it a little tap. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. So you're crossing over the body. And remember, we're taking our fallen triangle. So extend the left leg out. Ground the back heel down to the floor and see if you can reach the right arm high. So just taking a moment to open up through the chest. Good, gently lower your right hand down to the floor. So I come onto the ball of my back foot and then I step my left foot to the uh, outer edge of my left hand. So give your foot a little helping hand forwards if you need to. Right hand stays planted to the floor, left arm reaches high to find our way to easy twisting lunge. Now lengthen through that back heel, pull up through the right thigh. Again, maybe you're playing with your gaze, maybe you're softening through the shoulders a little bit more. Exhale, lower your left hand to the inner edge of left foot. Ground the back heel down to the floor. Side angle, right arm comes alongside the ear. So creating that line of energy through right side body. Now remember here, if this is too much for the hip, left forearm to left thigh. Now what can you do differently here? Can you sink lower into the front knee? Can you exaggerate that turn of heart space to ceiling to find a deeper side stretch? Can you activate your fingers and spread your palm wide? What can you make feel a little bit more interesting about this posture this morning? Good, another big breath in. Exhale, spiral your hands down either side of front foot. So coming into that side plank variation, lower the back knee to the floor, toes are untucked. And this time my toes are pointing to the long edge of the mat on the right side. Taking the left leg back, so the sole of my left foot comes to the floor, my left arm reaches up nice and high, big inhale. Exhale, if you have your balance here, start to float your left foot away from the floor, lining heel with hip. And then on your exhale, bend the left knee and see if you can catch hold of the top of your foot. Big breath in, exhale, kicking foot back into hand, ballooning the heart space forwards. Keep really strongly pressing the mat away with your right palm. One more big breath in here. If you have the bind, exhale, gently release. Take the sole of your left foot down to the floor, spiral your left hand to the mat and come back into your high plank. Moving through your vinyasa. So exhale through half or full chaturanga if you prefer. Inhale, coming forwards to cobra or lifting thighs and shins for up dog. And exhale, moving back into your downward facing dog. So just taking a moment, catching hold of your breath, maybe closing off your eyes here. 
What can you change about your down dog? Can you soften into the elbow slightly? Can you hug them into center line? How does it feel to work with the eyes closed here? Good, breathe in, stretch all right leg to sky. Bend your knee to open up through the hip, getting that lovely hip stretch. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Again, give your foot a helping hand if you need to take it all the way through. Easy twisting lunge again. So left hand stays grounded, right arm reaches up toward the ceiling. Now really draw in the belly. We're going to come up into a twisted high lunge. So low body stays the same, upper body stays the same. We're just lifting up through the torso here, finding that twisted shape. Good, now let's reverse the arms. Right hand touches the back of the left thigh and the left arm reaches up alongside the ear. Big breath in. See if you can sink a little lower into the front knee and stretch through your back heel even more. Good, another big inhale. Exhale, ground the back heel to the mat, coming into our reverse warrior. So we're going to take the right arm alongside the ear this time and either have the left fingertips dangling or hold on to your waistband or reach for the top of your right hip. So take a nice inhale, sink deeper into your right knee and find a deeper side stretch by lengthening through the right fingertips. Relaxing your neck, perhaps by turning your gaze to the outer edge of your back foot. And then see if you can press through the outer edge of your back foot and lift up through your left arch. Good. Inhale to triangle pose. Straighten your front leg and revolve your arms around. So the back of your right hand comes to your shin, your left fingertips stretch up to the sky. If you're able to take the right fingertips to the floor, you're welcome, but don't worry about getting the hand down. Think more about how far can I lift up through my top hand and turn through my chest. So as you breathe in, take your internal gaze down towards your belly. Feel belly button drawing in so that the rib cage don't, doesn't flare out from the chest and curl under the tailbone. There's a sense that the hips press forwards here. And notice if you do that subtly, you start to feel a deeper opening through left side rib cage. Good, another big inhale. Exhale, spiral your hands down to the mat, soften into the front knee. Come onto the ball of your back foot and just make your stance slightly shorter, so step the back foot in a little way. If you can, ground the left heel down to the floor and lift the right toes up and away from the mat. But if the floor's far away here, you could have blocks under your hands or you could have the hands on your front shin. So really lengthening through crown of head as you breathe in and then exhale, forward folding. So softening your nose towards your knee. Actively flex through your right foot if you can lift the toes away. And again, just explore what difference that makes to the posture. Maybe it feels good to stretch through your calf. And if it doesn't, then point the toes or ground the foot to the floor. Maybe you're thinking about taking your outer left hip forwards and wrapping outer right hip back. So essentially you're squaring your hips toward the top of the mat a little bit further. Good, another big expansive breath in. Now as you breathe out, soften into the front knee. Lower the left knee, the back knee down to the floor, coming into that same side um, plank stretch again. So we're going to turn the left toes to the long edge of the mat on the left side, take the right leg back and sweep the right arm high. Good, so again, option to lift your right heel up away from the floor. Breathing nice and deeply. Belly button drawing in. Exhale, ground right foot to floor, spiral the right hand down to the mat. So we're going to just turn the left toes to point toward the back edge of the mat now and lift the right foot away from the floor again. So playing around with our little half chin stand variation. Inhale deeply, exhale, rock the weight forwards, bend the elbows, take your chin down to the mat, just dust it there lightly and stretch your right leg up toward the ceiling. Point through the toes, squeeze into your buttock. Another big breath in. Now press the mat away so you're lifting the chest slightly and you're gonna slide forwards to bring your hips and belly to the floor. Coming into cobra pose, lift up through the heart space, slide shoulders away from the ears and then exhale, release all the way down. 
downward facing dog tuck under the toes press all the way up and back deep breaths in deep breaths out remember you can always sigh it out you can always take a little internal scream if you need to whatever feels right for you again that sense that you're doing whatever you need to to make this this sequence this posture this practice feel good inhale lift the left leg high bend your knee to open up through the hip take a moment to acknowledge that gorgeous stretch through the front of the left hip and then as you exhale step your left foot between your hands so moving into easy twisting lunge right hand remains grounded left arm stretches up toward the ceiling open up through the chest now feel your inner thighs squeezing into the center and gently start to move up into your twisted high lunge so take your time find your way there and then reverse the arms so left hand touches the back of the right thigh and the right arm stretches up alongside your ear nice big breath into right hip flexor as maybe you sink a little deeper into the front knee and lengthen through the back heel good another big inhale exhale to reverse warrior so the back heel grounds to the floor switching up the arms left arm alongside the ear this time right hand either dangling toward the back leg or reaching for waistband or the top of your left hip inhale to side stretch here so sink a little deeper into the front knee and reach back through left fingertips and if you want to relax the neck look to the outer edge of the back foot and just remind yourself to press through the outer edge of the foot to lift up your arches away from the floor stay with your breath and see what you can do in this posture to make it feel better for you and that doesn't always mean going deeper good another big inhale straighten through the front leg and revolve the arms around coming into triangle so again think about turning your heart space up either gazing up or down whatever feels good internal gaze toward your belly button inhale deeply exhale draw the tummy in so you're making the torso nice and compact there's a sense of rolling the tailbone under and then pressing the hips gently further forwards upper body leans back ever so slightly to create more space through the front body but perhaps also to deepen the stretch through the right side waist another big inhale exhale spiral the top hand down to the floor come onto the ball of your back foot stepping your back foot in slightly to shorten the length of your stance so pyramid legs here big inhale lengthen through the spine now if you can as you exhale ground down through the back heel and lift the left toes up and back towards you to find that deeper stretch remember you can keep the foot grounded hands to blocks or hands on front shin if the floor feels really far away for you here. And pulling up through your front thigh, wrapping the outer right hip forward, squaring your hips toward the top of the mat and taking those deep breaths all the way into the back of your left leg. So again, think about that visualization of spreading goodness into any spaces of tension or tightness try to unclench your jaw and soften the shoulders away from the ears notice if you're finding that resistance moving into another space in your body good another big inhale exhale walk the hands forwards make sure the left foot grounds to the floor and then lower the back knee coming into that same um, side plank variation so the right toes turn out to the long edge of the mat on the right side the left foot comes back to the floor and the left arm reaches up high if you did on the first side inhale lift the left heel away from the floor just line it up with the hip for this side flexing through the toes think about really keeping that back leg super straight belly drawing in good lower left foot down to the floor spiral left hand to the mat so you're lining that right leg up again 
floating the left toes away from the floor, coming through our little half chin stand. So rock the shoulders forwards of the wrist, bend the elbows, keep them tight to side rib cage, chin just lightly dusts the floor here and we're stretching up through the left leg. So make sure there's no bend in the knee. You want to really straighten through the leg, press up through the toes. Another big breath in. Now press the mat away to lift the chest slightly and then slide forwards onto your belly. Well done. Good, Cobra Pose, inhale, lift the heart. Make sure there's that bend in the elbow so that you can really slide the shoulders back. And there's a sense that energetically you're trying to drag the heart space between the hands. Good, another big inhale. And then exhale, come down. Downward facing dog, tuck the toes, press the chest back to thighs, relaxing the neck, maybe closing off the eyes. Notice what you can feel. And notice what you can shift. So particularly we've got that loud inner critic in our head most of the time, which says you can't do this or you're rubbish or whatever. So I want you to try and silence that voice by really tuning into your breath. Because as soon as we start saying that stuff to ourselves, we almost look subconsciously for the opportunities for us to fail at what we're doing. So connecting with the breath and seeing, can you flip it? Can you make that into a positive statement? I can do this. I will do this. I'll get there at some point. Good. Breathe in, stretch the right leg to sky. Bend the knee, open up through the hip. This time, step the right foot to outer edge of right hand. So again, give it a helping hand if needed. Ground the back heel down to the floor. Coming into our side angle again, so lengthening left arm alongside the ear. Remember again, you can bring the right forearm onto the right thigh if you prefer. So big breath in, stretching up and over through left fingertips. Exhale, grounding down through back heel, creating that line of energy in the left side body. Another big inhale. Now exhale, you're going to spiral your top hand down toward the floor. Turn the right toes in and walk your fingertips along the long edge of the mat. So we're coming into like a wide leg forward fold here. I'm going to walk my heels back so that they're both in line, lining up with the long edge of the mat. And my stance is nice and wide to make it easier for myself. Fingertips line up with the tips of the toes if the hands are flat to the floor. Inhale, lift up through the chest, and then exhale, soften through the elbows and start to take the crown of your head down in the direction of the mat. It doesn't matter if it doesn't come anywhere near the floor. And if this does feel really, really tight and difficult, then take your stance wider, make your feet a little bit wider and see how that feels. If it helps to have a cushion or a block or two underneath the hands, again, feel free to take that variation. And then see what you can let go of. So can you just let the head hang heavy? Can you relax the neck? Can you soften into your jaw a little bit further? Can you take another big expansive breath into the backs of the shoulders? And as you exhale, feel like you're releasing any tension from that space. Good, one more big breath in lifting up through the chest and then starting to walk the hands either side of the right foot again make sure that you're on the ball of the back foot gently lower the left knee down to the floor inhale low lunge reach the arms up alongside the ears and then exhale coming into a twist so taking the left elbow over the right knee hands move to prayer position at heart center and then press through the center of the palms to turn your chest a little bit further if you can now, if you want to come deeper here, first option I'm going to give you today is to see if you can slide your left shoulder a little bit further down toward the left knee. Maybe take left fingertips down to the floor and wrap the right hand behind you. If that doesn't feel good and you want to stay up here, that's fine. You can tuck under back toes and see if you can lift the back knee away from the floor. So nice, deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And twisting, particularly these nice deep twists are so good for giving your digestive system a bit of a kickstart as well. And when we're twisted and we're breathing deeply, those big diaphragmatic breaths into the abdomen, we're giving our organs a little bit of a massage out, as well as looking after our spine. Good, bring the hands back to prayer. And from here, I'd like us to step forwards into a twisted chair. So left foot lines up with right. 
Take as many little hops as you need to get there. Sit down nice and low. Again, press the palms to see if you can turn the chest a little bit further. Hips and knees stay square to the top of the mat. Big breath in. Exhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit the bottom down and sweep the arms up alongside the ears. Stay low if possible. Good, and from here I want you to take your bottom all the way down to the floor so you're sat on your seat. Good, okay, so first two fingers and thumbs wrapping around the big toes here, coming into a little Navasana boat pose variation. So see if you can lift your heels up in line with your knees and lengthen through the crown of the head so make sure you're not dumping into the back body. Now you can stay here and just work on your balance or we're going to take a couple of little rocks and rolls forwards and backs three times and see if we can come up and balance on our sit bones. So rocking forwards, rocking back, rocking forwards, back and then on that final time see if you can come up Balance on your sit bones, and then I want you to see how far you can extend the legs forward. It doesn't matter if they're not straight. Good, soften into the elbows, hug everything into centre line a little bit further. Three, <laughs> two, and one. Release your toes, but keep the legs up if you can. Squeeze belly button towards your thighs. And then bending the knees, cross over the ankles, maybe sweep the legs around, step back into your high plank. Coming through your vinyasa, if you're vinyasa out, you can, you can come straight back into down dog if you prefer. Really good work, just finding your way back into your down dog. Relax your neck, close the eyes. Reconnecting with that deep ujjayi breath or deep yogic breath. Again, just seeing how that switches up the prana when we bring in like a bit of a more playful aspect to the practice. We inhale, left leg reaches up. Bend your knee to open up through your hip. And this time we're looking forward, stepping left foot to outer edge of left hand. Rounding the back heel down to the floor and sweeping the right arm up alongside the ear to find our way into side angle. So remember, left forearm to thigh is a very nice option here if you prefer. Keep stretching through the right fingertips to find length through side ribs. Keep opening up your chest toward the ceiling. Good. Deep breaths in. Soften left shoulder away from the left ear. Deep breaths out, maybe sinking a little bit lower into front knee. One more big inhale. Now exhale, spiral the top hand down to the ground. Turn your left toes in, finding your way into your wide leg forward fold. So shuffle the feet about if you need to. Remember you can take the stance wider here if possible. Fingertips on the mat, lengthen through the spine, lift up through the chest. And then as you exhale, soften into your elbows and take your forward fold a little bit deeper. So crown of the head, moving in the direction of the floor. Remember, it really doesn't matter if it doesn't come all the way down. If hands are flat, you're walking your hands back to line fingertips up with the tips of your toes. And if everything feels far away, blocks are on hands or maybe even hands are on the shins. A nice big breaths in. This is such a really gorgeous pose for opening up into our low backs. If you suffer with sciatica, um, this is a really good release for the low back and for those nerves that get trapped and end up causing us a lot of discomfort. Also a really nice inversion. So obviously our heart is higher than our head. We get that nice rush of blood back into the head, that kind of refresher which again is really nice at the beginning of the day, just so that you're starting off on the right page. Good, breathing in, lifting up through the chest, and we're walking our hands either side of left foot, this time coming up onto the ball of the right foot. Now gently lower the back knee down to the floor, low lunge, inhale, reach up through the arms, and then exhale to hook the right elbow, over the left knee so palms coming together to meet press them together to turn through the chest a little further and again if you're coming deeper first off just see if you can slide your right shoulder a little closer to right knee and you can either keep the hands in prayer or you can bring the right hand to the floor and the left hand toward the low back 
wherever you are at. If you want to tuck under the back toes and lift right knee away from the floor, you're very welcome to do so. So again, think about breathing as deeply as you can, massaging out our internal organs, twisting out any toxins in the body, and again, keeping our thought processes really positive, looking for the goodness in this pose. Well done, hands to prayer and stepping forwards into our twisted Utkatasana, twisted chair. So right foot steps alongside the left, as many little steps as you need to take. Bend the knees deeply and then press the palms and turn through the heart space. So keeping the knees and the hips square to the top of the mat as the upper body turns toward the side wall. And then releasing the arms to come into Utkatasana, arms alongside the ears, sit the butt nice and low, draw in the belly, slowly but surely coming down onto our seat. Well done. And this time stretch the legs out in front. Give them a little bit of a shake if you need. Now, if you're really rounding through the low back here, you can sit yourself on a block or a cushion, something like that if you prefer. Okay, let's bend into the right knee. Bring the sole of the foot to the top of the thigh, flexing through left toes nice and strongly. Place your fingertips out alongside the hips and lengthen up through the spine. Just have a moment there. Big breath in, reach up through your fingertips and then exhale, hinging yourself forward from the hips, moving into Janu Shishasana. So don't worry if the hands don't meet the foot, you can have the hands alongside the left leg. Take a big breath in and just think about lifting and lengthening through the crown of your head. And then on your exhale, tucking the chin inwards and just handing over to gravity really, just let the torso move forwards in its own space and time. So forget about kind of pulling yourself into the posture because you will feel resistance in the body. And I talked a little bit about um, working, with, working with our edge in forest practices this week. And it's that same idea, that same feeling that you want to kind of surf on that space where you feel a challenge, but you can still breathe deeply. You can still find a little bit of goodness, a little bit of softness. Let's take three more really, really big breaths here. Good. Inhale, lift up through the chest, reach up through the arms, and then exhale, lower the hands down alongside you. So I'd like you to now take this left leg out a little bit further, keeping the right heel in toward pubic bone. The left hand will come to the inner edge of the left leg and the right arm will stretch up alongside the ear. So nice big inhale. Now exhale, start to reach up and over, finding a nice deep side stretch here. So this left hand can slide um, in front of the left leg. And just make sure that you're not kind of rounding down to the floor here. Can sometimes be easier to catch the foot if you round down to the floor but I want you to really work on opening up through the side body opening up through the chest and maybe eventually you'll be able to take hold it really doesn't matter if you're there today or in five years time just closing off the eyes deepening the breath and the way that we live our lives is so kind of focused on images that we look at and ways in which people tell us that we should look or shit that we should buy but at the end of the day if it doesn't make us feel good then there's absolutely no point to any of it and just kind of being content in your own space in your own body in your own breath letting go of the rest of the crap that we're told we should feel a certain way, we should do a certain thing. Good, one more big inhale. Then gently allow the right arm to draw you up. So keep the torso nice and soft as you come all the way up to the top. Well done. Let's just take a little twist from here. Right hand comes behind us and cross the left hand over the right thigh. 
So big breath in, lift up. And then exhale, soften the belly, soften the shoulders and turn. Maybe even closing off the eyes here. Good, and then breathe in and come all the way back to center. Well done. So let's stretch the left leg out in front and switch sides. So right leg goes out, left foot comes in, starting off with Janu Shishasana. So the sole of left foot is toward the inner edge of the right thigh. Fingertips to the floor, lift up through the chest, inhale, reach up through the hands, and then exhale, hinging yourself forwards, either hands to floor or hands to the foot, whatever works for you this morning. Soften chin to chest and just breathe in that space. Toes are active, right thigh is pulling up, but the upper body is completely heavy. And we're just sinking into the breath, sinking into the rhythm of our breath, tuning into the sound of our breath, and finding a space that feels good, that feels like, oh, I could stay here for an hour. This is a really nice and comfortable stretch. I always say this, but the word posture in Sanskrit, asana, translates not just as posture, but as a steady and comfortable posture. So find that steadiness and find that sense of ease in the pose. And give yourself the opportunity to sink deeper. Give yourself permission to let go. Good, big breath in, lift the chest, reach up through the arms, coming all the way up to the top. And then gently releasing the fingertips down. Right leg comes out again at that slight angle as we move into our side stretch now. So right hand to the inner edge of the right leg. Inhale, left arm up alongside the ear. Big breath, stretching through the top fingertips. And then exhale, you're sinking into the right elbow. Maybe you're sliding your right hand across the floor. Just finding your way into the stretch on the opposite side. And just close off the eyes, just be in that space. It could be that this side is way more open than the first side, or it could be that you're nowhere near where you were on the other side. Again, it's just that really lovely opportunity to explore our body, to notice stuff that when we're so busy in our everyday life, we have no time to just sit and observe. Just take two more really nice, big, big breaths here. And then gently, again, keep the torso really heavy. Just let your left arm draw you up. Maybe neck remains relaxed as you rise up to the top. Well done. Let's bring the legs out in front. I'm just going to slide my mat back. There we go. And <laughs> bring the soles of the feet to the floor, making our way onto our back with control. So reach the hands out in front, take a nice big inhale, and then a slow and steady breath out as you gently release yourself all the way down to the floor. And once you have lowered the head and shoulders down, just walk the feet a little bit closer in towards the bottom. Move into single pigeon from here. So cross the right ankle over the top of your left thigh and really think about sending the right knee wide. So if the hips are feeling a little bit creaky this morning, you could even stay here and just have the right hand gently resting on the right inner thigh. Or if you want to come deeper, draw the left knee towards you and either interlace your hands behind the thigh or maybe over the top of the shin. So you're creating that figure four shape with the legs. Deep breaths in, that sense of finding a nice release in the outer right hip. Again, another posture which is incredible for releasing sciatica. And feel the low back pressing into the floor here. 
this pose is also known as back release pose. So if you do have low back pain at the moment, little aches and niggles, this is a really nice way to ease it out. And don't worry too much about you know, squeezing the left knee, the left thigh really close in toward the chest. Think more about what the right knee is doing. Think about the right knee moving forwards into space. And remember by lengthening the exhales, we're giving our body more of an opportunity to open up. Good, one more really big breath in. And then gently release the sole of your left foot to the floor. Now I want you to keep the exact shape that you've got in your legs and you're just going to allow the legs to fall toward the left side. So the sole of the right foot comes down to the mat. Right knee remains pointing up towards the ceiling and the arms come nice and wide. Just keep the backs of your shoulders pressing into the floor. Very gentle twist for the spine, but hopefully you'll feel a bit of an opening through right outer hip and glute. Well done, breathing in, come all the way up to the top. Second side, so right foot down, left ankle over, right thigh. Have a moment, you can either stay here with left hand on the front of the left thigh or you're interlacing the hands behind your thigh or over the top of the right shin. Just taking a few nice big, big breaths here. Releasing, relaxing through the jaw. Think about the left knee moving forwards to create space in the outer hip and in the low back. Really nice. And then take the sole of your right foot down to the floor, the arms out wide. So again, we're keeping the same shape in the legs and just allowing the sole of the left foot to come down to the floor. So the left knee remains pointing directly up toward the ceiling. And you're just pausing and breathing into that gentle twist and that really gorgeous hip opener for the left side. Good, breathing in, coming all the way back up to center and then gently releasing into your Shavasana, your relaxation. So maybe the legs are extended, maybe the soles of the feet are mat width and the knees are knocking together. If you need to pop any support under the back of your head or any layers on, then just take a moment or two to do that and get yourself really, really comfortable. And once you've found your way into that comfortable shape in the body, just gently close off the eyes. Let the breath be completely natural here. Let it come and go as it pleases. Soften the jaw. Relax the space between your eyebrows and your forehead. Just feel your scalp releasing. And just notice how good it feels to pause. Acknowledging that when we give ourselves a bit of love, a bit of time, perhaps we're able to be a bit more motivated in everyday life. Maybe we've just got a little bit more time and space to give to others as well.
So if you do have slightly longer for your Shavasana this morning, I welcome you to stay and soak it up for as long as you possibly can. But if you do need to be making your way, just start to draw your attention back into your hands and your feet. Make some small movements through your fingertips and through your toes. And when you're ready, finding your way through a full body stretch. So lengthening the arms above the head, reaching the feet away. And when you're ready, hugging the knees towards you, just rocking yourself over to one side and finding that fetal position, pausing there for a final moment. As always, just soaking in the goodness of your practice, taking in whatever you need to and letting go of what you don't. And then in your own time, just coming up to find your comfortable seated position. And when you arrive there, take a moment, hands moving to prayer at your heart center and bow chin to chest. So we're just sealing the energy of this practice with the sound of OM. If you want to join me, take a big inhale through your nose. Oh. Allow that vibration to settle in. And then gradually bringing the prayer hands up to the space between your eyebrows, lengthening up super tall. Peace in your thoughts. Prayer hands in front of your lips. Peace in your words. And finally, in front of your heart. Peace in your actions. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for practice this morning, for getting.